Hello everybody, and welcome to my review of the Force Evans Quark Tail Stand Cap, or as I like to refer to it, the Tail Cap Extension, and I'll get into that in a minute. It's this little thingy right here. If you, and uh, before I get into it, apologies to Jason, um, I got one of these as a early, uh, almost a beta test, and I'm just now getting around to doing this review, that was too long ago. All right, so what it is for, according to the manufacturer, is it takes the Quark Tactical, which is a forward clicky tail cap, which everybody loves because it has the momentary on and then also has a one-handed push click. It stays on as opposed to a, something like a twisty where you have to use two hands to get that to stay on. All right. The only thing about this is you see this button here protrudes quite noticeably from the tail cap, which means it doesn't tail stand. Some people care about that, I don't, but this thing does other things that I do like. But that's why they call it the Quark tail stand cap, because now with that on there, I can tail stand. Woo! Um, with these lights, I really don't care. Uh, you can do a whole video on why I don't care and why other lights it was kind of cool. Uh, leave them alone for now. One of the things that I wanted to, I looked at it, I said, man, this is cool. I like it because now I can take this and instead of it being very easy to just mash this and go all the way down, get that click constant on, I can, I can hit this and I can do manual strobing really, really well, but if I want to get that constant on, I can do that one-handed, but I have to make a deliberate effort to get way down in there and get that click. So it, that's what I love it for. Now, the one thing I noticed that could really be improved is you'll notice this, this has a lanyard. It has a lanyard that goes right through that wide hole there. There's two holes in these. There's a wide slot and a little... Uh, I'm loosening that so I can get that. There we go. We have a hole, a little tiny hole there, and we have this slot. I've put that loop through the slot. I am not going to be able to do that on this because... If you look there, that... That little shelf there actually fits into that slot. So I put this in. Now that is completely blocked off. In fact, if we look, let me grab the light here and we can see this a little bit better. If we look at that hole, it is at least partially obscured. So we got that partly blocked off. So even if I wanted to lanyardize this, it's going to be a pain. The lanyard that comes with it, I was not able to make that work. There might be a way. I, I didn't try really hard because I typically prefer these. Um, but I, for a number of reasons, I've throughout my life ha wanted to lanyardize my flashlights. Now there's, with something like this, there's... Um, any number of one-handed techniques of light manipulation that allow you to uh, st use a lanyard to allow you to have a hand free or to still use the hand that was holding the light and then go back to holding the light. Also, one of the things that my, my current job requires of me is that occasionally I have to work at heights. And one of the requirements for working at heights is you have to lanyardize all your tools. So, I would have to take this off, put the lanyard on, rather than just be able to have it on and maybe tie that off to a, a longer lanyard. So I didn't like that. And the other thing is, even if you get a lanyard on here, there's, let's use this piece of uh, accessory cord here for an example. If I put that lanyard on here, it no longer tail stands because of the lanyard. So. What I did is I, I've modified one side of this, and after this video, I will go modify the other side to make it all nice, pretty, and symmetric. But I put 
a little notch right there. Okay. Hopefully, yeah, you should be able to see that. I put a notch there, and if you look, it's going to be a little bit harder to see. If you look right here, I have made a cutout. It's not the prettiest thing. There's a little bit of extra material there. So let's look. That's the side that does not have the cutout. And that's the side that has the cutout. As you can see, fits nicely here. Not so nicely here. Yeah, it's hard to see. So the changes that I would recommend is I would make a cutout in here for a lanyard and I would make a cutout up here for a lanyard because that, let me put this back on here, that now allows this light to tail stand with the lanyard in that little notch. Ah, make a liar out of me, will you? Um, the other thing that I really like this for, if you don't have a lanyard on here, especially in the winter time when I have gloves on my hand, it's hard to tell if I just pick this light up which end is which, because this is the exact same diameter as this, and if you can't feel the subtle texture difference between that smooth and that grippy on either side, you're likely to go ahead and inadvertently turn the light on when you're trying to figure out which end is which. This, I can take that, and even with gloves on, I can feel that that sharp edge and that indentation there. So I, I really like that. So even without the lanyard, I really appreciate having these. Now, that's my recommendation to improve this product. My other recommendation is, as much as I like this, I would really rather see this offered not as an add-on, but as an optional tail cap. Maybe a, just a, an accessory. You can, you can buy the tail cap separately. Maybe an option. That maybe I would prefer the light come with this cap all as one piece of aluminum. That, I understand that might not be everybody's cup of tea, but I would, I would like to see that at least offered because as you've seen, I've been able to actually take this on and off fairly easily. Now that might be partly due to the fact that I already took it on and off a bunch of times. Maybe. I think it's going to be more secure and it's just going to be more rugged. But on the whole, it's a welcome upgrade, and I will probably order a few more and modify them for my other lights. That's all. You guys take care of each other out there.